this video, at first I have created a new project for which I have used this particular commands which you can see out here. Ionic start, swipe, tab, swipe, that is the name that I have given and I have used the tabs layout out here instead of the blank one this time. And I am using the Angular framework out here for which I have given the type as Angular. Then I entered that particular folder which is created of the project one. And then I opened up the Visual Studio Code, all right, in this particular manner from the terminal itself. You can do the same as you want, all right. After that, let me don't save it, okay. Then we have got this kind of a structure of the project, all right. Once you get that, what you need to do. So out here, as you have already learned, we are going to implement the swipe tab. So it's going to swipe left and right. We are going to tackle that up. And we are not going to use any third party library out here. So it's going to be pretty interesting to work with that. So let's see how exactly we can achieve that up. For using that, well, I will use another video of mine, which I've created recently only. Let me check that out. So I will just open up this particular browser and out here, I will just go to YouTube and my channel coding techniques and I'll look for gesture one where it is. Let me just search out here gestures. Okay, this is the one. So it's coming in the search. That's great. Now in this particular video, what am I going to do? I will just scroll to the bottom out here. I'll get the source code all right because we need to work with the gesture swipe gesture we need to work with all right and out here you can simply download the code let me just do that up all right i'm going to use that and meanwhile let me just explain you what i'm going to do in the src folder we have the app one within the app folder we have the directives so i'm simply going to copy these directives into our application and implement this up in our home page all right or in in this case we have the tabs one not the home page you can create one if you want to but I don't want to do that now. All right. So let me just work on that now. I have already downloaded the code and let's work on that. So I'll just go out here, open this particular project in Finder. So this is the project that has opened up and out here where I will do it in the app folder only, I will copy and paste this up. So I already have copied it in my code one. So let me just have this directives. You can simply get it from here also if you want to. Let me just show you out here. Well, you need to go to the SRC and in the SRC, you need to go to the app one, then simply copy this up. All right. And I'll paste it out here simply. All right. Once that is done, what is next we need to do? Let me just mark it. Okay. So it is copied. And we don't have any issues as of now, but let me just show you what I have done in the home page. So in the home page, what exactly we have done, we have used these three things to use it up. All right. So let me simply copy it for the swipe one. So where is the swipe one? This is the one. Let me copy this up. All right. And if you don't want the other stuff, double tap or single tap or even the press one, you can simply remove it from the directives out here. Well, I have copied everything, but if you don't want, you can simply remove it up. Okay. If you want to go to the particular video directly then there is a i button hovering up there you can just click on that and you will be able to redirect to that particular video so these things you can remove like i said and simply remove it from here also otherwise this will give you a problem all right so i think i am pretty much clear about all this stuff i have explained you nicely regarding these things and if you want to learn more about it definitely you can watch that whole video if you haven't done that up now in the tabs module what I'll do, I'll simply import it. So directive module, you can see the addition is coming up. I'll just import it. It is imported at the top. Once that is done, the things that I have just copied in the HTML, I will pass it in the ion tabs. So let me just break it down and let me paste it out here. All right. And align it properly. Fine. And in fact, I will give an identifier to this hashtag. Let me name it as tabs only. So this is what I'm going to do out here. Okay. Is there any error coming up? Okay. I need to give some other name maybe. Hashtag tabs. Okay. Now, now the error is gone. I don't know why it was showing up. Anyways, not a problem. Sometimes it happens. So on swipe function, I need to call it out here. This will call an event. And why have I given this particular hashtag tabs? This is an identifier by which I can use this ion tabs directly into my TypeScript. How I can do that up? Well, I have to use the view child. So at view child, I'll use it up out here. That is the decorator. And within that, I will pass the identifier name as a string tabs. And then I'll name it as tabs only, which will be of type ion tab. Okay. This is the one import it up. 
it is imported from at ionic slash angular fine once that is done we are good to use this up so if you just write out here this dot tabs dot you can see suggestion are coming up and what are these things well simply you can check it out here i have already opened up the ionic framework documentation and in that i'm into the components one where I have searched for the iron tabs and this is the one I have already opened it up. So it's pretty simple to reach out there and out here I'll simply go to the methods one. In the method one you can see git selected git tab. I don't know why it is not showing up but that is also not necessary. Then there is a select function that is also showing up out there in the suggestions one. All right and similarly you can use the other events also iron tab did change iron tabs will change. You can just track that up out here. So I'll just show you again. You can see all these things are coming up. So this is what we need exactly, right? Because for swiping it up, well, we need to work with the iron tabs only. Whenever something is getting swiped, we need to tackle that up. So now instead of passing this thing, let me just console log the event. What exactly we are getting in the event. Let's check it out, whether it is getting triggered or not. And this is the one I'll just open it up just to check whether it is giving us some result or not. So let me just swipe it. Okay, swipe. Yeah, it is getting triggered. Again, swipe to the right side. It is getting triggered. All right, that is working. But I just want to get those values. Let me just show you where move and is done. Because the moving is finished, then only I want to call that particular event. Other events I don't want to call because while moving, I don't want to do anything. All right, so for doing that up, what I will simply do, I'll pass a comment out here. In fact, I'll pass it out here only because I will be showing all the stuff whenever that event is getting triggered. Sorry, the condition is getting triggered. Within that only I'll confirm the event. All right. So I'll pass the if condition event question mark dot swipe type question mark is given just for confirmation whether if there is any error then definitely we can tackle that up. Now move and if this is the condition that is satisfied then only I will log this particular event. Now you will see when it is getting called. So out here, let's check this out. I have pass or swipe actually. Now it is triggered only once, only in the move and one, right? Similarly out here on the left side also move and that's properly working and direction in the x direction okay so that is what we are doing because we are using left and right we don't want the top and down one or top and bottom one fine so this is working now what is the next step that we need to follow out here basically we need to pass some conditions whenever we are swiping towards the left side what we need to do and towards the right side what we need to do all right so that is very important out here because we are doing everything manually it is not something which is available out there and to achieve that I'll, what I'll simply do is I'll create a function out here. I'll name it as git next tab. You can name anything you want. I'll just name it as it is. And in this, I will accept two parameters. The first one will be the, the tab one, current tab, you can say, okay, current tab. And the second one, it's going to be the direction. All right. So whether it is left or right, we will just track that out out here. And now within this function, I'll simply use a switch case where I will pass this current tab, whatever the value will be, or based on that only we are going to pass out our case out here so the first case can be tab one because out here in the tab html you can see every iron tab button is given a tab that is tab one tab two tab three whatever names you have out here you can simply pass it out there why because you can simply call it out here let me just show you instead of the event let me just pass this dot tabs dot gate selected tab name that's what we are going to get out here let me just show you all right out here it is saying so now we just pass return out here fine now it's okay think so yes right so now out here if i just swipe this time let's see what happens i'm getting tab one which is the current tab right so even if i swipe again i'm getting tab one again so that is what I will be getting so I will be using this particular function to trigger that up and pass it out there so let me just minimize this so basically what am I going to do let me just undo this at first or I'll simply copy this up cut this and simply pass the event out here if you want to track then I will call this particular function this dot gate next tab and within that I will simply paste this particular function you can ha even have it in a constant or wherever you want to then in the direction one I'll simply pass event question mark dot di R X will be capital. You can check it in the console log if you want. And I'll just minimize it up so that I can see the whole code properly. Once that is done, I will get that within a constant called, let me call it next tab, maybe whatever name you want. You can simply pass it out here. All right, so this is done. Now out here, if we have tab one, as our current tab then what we are going to do i will check another condition out here for the direction one if direction equals to equals to left that means dirx value is left that means we are swiping from right to left in that condition 
what we are going to do we are going to do nothing out here or actually we are going to do something in the left direction when we are swapping right to left that means we are going forward so when we are going forward that means we have to go to the return tab 2 because we need to change the tab out here right tab 2 otherwise i won't do anything okay so basically if you are swiping from left to right that means in this particular manner then there won't be any other tab out there towards the left side of it so nothing will get called so that is what it means you can simply try this up and understand it properly similarly for tab 2 also what am i going to do let me simply copy this up and paste it out here so if direction is left okay left means right to left so it is going forward so it's gonna be tab 3 or you can simply check for right also if you want to but if you're giving right then it's gonna be tab 1 and in the else condition after this you can pass the else condition return tab two, oh sorry not 2 it's gonna be 3 fine and the last one well i won't give any default one out here because these three are mandatory there won't be any default one so if the current tab is tab 3 then the direction if it is left we don't have to do anything because right to left it, there is no nothing in the forward one if you have that if you have more than three tabs then definitely you can carry on with the conditions all right but i don't have as of now so i'll just look for the right direction and yeah tab 2 will be fine so if you are swiping towards the left to right this way then you're going back to the tab 2 so that is what the condition is going to be now out here let's check out what is the value we are getting for the next tab fine all right so a lot of things are being done let's check it one by one so now if i swipe from left to right you can see out here tab one is getting called as the current or next tab actually yes next step so that's pretty fine but that should not be called right have i done anything wrong if i'm swiping from left to right is there something wrong why it is returning tab one i mean tab one only well how about this one tab two is getting called then again tab two is getting called right once again tab one is getting called i need to check the current tab also so let me just do one thing i'll simply cut this up and let me just paste it out here in a constant current tab will be equals to this particular value that i'll be getting and i'll lock that particular current tab one okay in this particular manner fine and i'll pass the current tab out here okay so let's try it again this time let me just swipe it towards this direction current tab is one and it is returning tab one y so if this is the case all right let me just do one thing Re else return now let's try it again swiping and it is returning null so that's pretty fine out here also i'll just copy this up and paste it out here also all right now i think everything will be fine now in here i'll simply pass a condition if next step exists then i will use this dot tabs dot select function i'm going to use out here within that i will simply pass this particular next step that's what it takes the name of that particular tab property that is passed to every iron tab button all right now let's check it out whether it works or not so i'll just open it up and this is the one let me swipe it you will see now i'll ch i will go to tab 2 tab 3 directly so i'll just swipe you can see tab 2 is showing up out here right i'll swipe again tab 3 is coming up then i swipe again towards the left side now this is what is happening we are getting null nothing is getting changed right but if i swipe in this direction tab 2 tab 1 and null again fine so you can play around all this pretty nicely right smoothly it is working how good it is so this is how you can work with these swipeable tabs i hope you have understood each and everything so this is pretty nicely done and i really love the concept of using this swipeable tabs directly without using anything else out here just using the gestures what we need so this is the ultimate way or the easiest way by which we can implement these swipeable tabs pretty nicely into our application whenever you need it up. So you can apply this same thing for other stuff also like in the iron slides also not in exactly iron slides using the swiper JS you can use that up and implement the same you just need to call the index if you want to if you get that up definitely you can work with this pretty nicely. Similarly you can apply in other stuff also like iron segment also you can work with so whole lot of stuff you you can explore out here just you need to apply the proper conditions so this is how it needs to be done i hope you have understood this part and i hope you have liked this video so if you have liked this video please do hit the like button many of you haven't subscribed to the channel yet but you're watching it so kindly subscribe to the channel if you're liking my content and help me to grow this particular community to a bigger extent so let's do it together all right. So with this, I'll sign off today and we'll catch you pretty soon. Thank you.